Well, it's a week of 100 degree temperatures. It is the middle of July, so it's not surprising. But these are the times when people that own chickens and other livestock want to know how to keep them from being negatively affected by the heat, how to keep them hydrated and cool. Well, there's only just so much that you can do because they do live outside. And for the most part, they will adapt to whatever the environment is. They acclimate to it because it slowly gets that way for them. But chickens particularly do struggle more in the heat than they do in the cold. So it is good to do some things to help them out, help them to stay hydrated and help them to cool down as much as possible. Keep that air moving. Now, I personally free range my chickens and they have quite a bit of shade. Lots and lots of trees and lots of shady spots. Plus, their run is covered, solid covered. And so, you know, there's shade that they could get to in there. Um, I also provide for them watering stations. I have watering stations all over my yard like this one over here. Yeah, they do have a waterer um, that they're all using right now. But I also have watering stations. Like right here, there's one container. Plus, this is more for the turkeys because they love it. It's a little kiddie pool. They like to stand in it, but sometimes the chickens will help themselves. But it is mostly for the turkeys. And I've got those little watering stations, like that little black one, in several different places around the yard, so they don't have very far to go to get something to drink. But if I'm feeling like I really want to encourage them to drink a lot more, I will scatter some sunflower seeds on the surface of their water, and that encourages them to drink, because they're trying to get at the seeds. Um, other than that, I mean, if you don't have the ability to free range your chickens, then you're definitely gonna wanna cover your run. They have to have shade. They cannot be in full sun all the time because it will kill them. I also keep an oscillating fan right there that is pointed into their chicken coop area, keeps the air moving. And I've got three windows with ventilation for um, to keep some air moving in here. Um, we've also, we don't solid seal the entire coop. And if you look up here, here, there, you'll see that the eaves are open for the most part. And we keep it that way even in the winter time. And it helps to add more ventilation. Um, as you know, if you think about physics, hot air rises, cold air falls, while hot moist air also rises. And so it's summer, winter, doesn't matter. You don't want hot moist air building up. And so that's where it goes, it's out through those eaves, plus we have some ventilation in the roof. Excuse me, ladies. Coming out. For the turkeys, you know, they've got a couple of shade shelters and they've got a great big waterer in there that they seek out. But I also don't keep them penned up all day. They can come and go. And of course the chickens come and go as well in there. They like turkey feed. And that's not a bad thing. Turkey feed is high in protein. And more protein is good when they're struggling with the heat. It's also good when they're struggling with the cold. Um, in my, my chicken feed, uh, there is some cracked corn. But I try to avoid feeding very much corn in the summer because corn will generate heat. It's better in the winter time when you're trying to help them to stay warm. So digesting that corn, uh, they will generate heat and that will help them to stay warm all winter. But in the summertime, you really don't want that. And so I cut down on the amount of corn that's in their ration. And I don't feed them 
um, the whole corn through the summer. And you'll see on a previous video I showed how I mix up my feed and I do mix whole corn into it. I only do that in the cooler months. In the summertime I don't add the corn. Um, you can do a lot of different things to add more hydration and it also is good for their mental health. Um, you can freeze blocks of ice or cubes of ice with different kinds of treats in it. Um, you can put sunflower seeds in it. You can put bird seed in it. You could put um, frozen peas in it. They do like those. And it's just the act of breaking through the ice to get to the treat. They hydrate themselves more. Um, you can give them frozen things like frozen watermelon. Um, any, anything that they really like to eat, you could freeze. And then as it thaws and they pick at it, it helps to cool them down. The main thing is you don't ever want an environment where the air isn't moving and can't move and where heat and condensation cannot escape. And you don't ever want them in an environment where they cannot get shade. And that's a quick way to lose your whole flock. And on the skinnier breeds, like your leghorns, Andalusians, that kind of thing, they, they have less of a hard time in the hotter time of the year and more of a hard time in the colder time of year because they just don't have a whole lot of um, feather coverage and body mass. They do a lot better in the summer. But then you've got your heavier breeds and they struggle a lot in the summer. They do pretty well through the winter. So you have to think about what kind of a flock you have. Hello, Mochi. Decide that you want to come up here? Mochi's a leghorn and she does really well in the summer. Don't you? You just discover that there are little seeds that dropped out of the tree. Hmm? Yeah? Don't let it don't ever let anybody tell you that a leghorn cannot be friendly. Mochi is one of our oldest chickens. She is still laying. And she will come right up to you. She'll pretend to protest, but she does like to be picked up. Don't you? Yeah. That's very unusual for a leghorn. But that's Mochi. And she is the head chicken. She teaches them just how it is. She's first one in at night. Gets her spot. first one to get priority to eat but I don't know how much longer we're gonna have her with us this will be her ninth summer and we'll just see how long she goes so there you have it that's how you'll keep your chickens and turkeys and quail or whatever kind of bird you have that's how you'll keep them cool in the summertime I have seen videos of people that take some of their chickens into swimming pools with them. Um, I think chickens probably can swim to save their life, but I, there aren't that many that, I guess unless they're um, introduced to that early on and gently, I can't imagine very many chickens really want to go in a swimming pool. But, you know, if you have chickens that do, I welcome and post your video or your pictures of your chickens in your swimming pool. I would love to see that because I've never had a chicken that wanted to go in the water. But my turkeys do. They like to stand in a pool, which is why I have that little kitty pool for them. They freak out a little bit sometimes. I'll put a little video at the end with them being in their pool the very first time. But for the most part, that's what they do with their water dish is they stand in it. And that's how turkeys cool off. But chickens don't really do that. Now, one other quick thing. In the summertime, you're going to have a lot more problems with things like mites. So definitely provide a dust bath for them. And I recommend if you can get wood ash, that's the very best. But even just sand, you know, something for them to dust bath on. Now, chickens do like to sunbathe. They will look like they're dead. They'll be laying all sprawled out on their side and they will look like something attacked them and killed them. Try not to panic if you see your chicken like that. Walk up to it. 
and if it does not get up and walk away then maybe there's something wrong but most of the time you're gonna find they were just sunbathing and you just took a couple of years off your life for nothing so there is that um, if you like this kind of um, content let me know in a comment down below I would appreciate any likes or subscription or you know just pass this along share this video along because it's important especially when we have so many new chicken keepers that people will be able to get their little flocks through the heat that's coming and thanks for watching bye what are you angry about Oh, coming out. You're done. She sees your, or he sees your <laughs> ring.